What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, former unified lightweight world champion, superstar bossa, now junior welterweight title contender, Tia Fimo Lopez, superstar bossa, who has 18 wins, one loss, no draw, 13 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 for 8 with a 68 inch arm reach. He once again doubles down for his dislike on undefeated, undisputed lightweight world champion, superstar bossa, Devin the Dream Haney. Okay, Devin Haney is 29 wins, no losses, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout. Uh, he is uh, 24 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. Right. Uh, Devin Haney is going into a massive showdown with a man, Tiafimo Lopez, the throne. And that's a uh, two time Olympic gold medalist, three division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar Basa, Vasily High Tech Lomachenko. Vasily Lomachenko, 17 wins, two losses, no draws, 11 wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, five foot six with a 66 inch army. Now, Tiafimo Lopez. He had a massive unification bout with uh, Lomachenko, and he defeated Vasil Lomachenko via unanimous decision. And um, now, you know, uh, he had the opportunity to face off against. Um, he had the opportunity to face off against Devin Haney after he defeated Lomachenko for undisputed official undisputed. Right? Uh, um, he decided that. You know, he was going to go in a different direction and he faced off against his IBF International Boxing Federation mandatory challenger and Australian star boxer George Cambosis Jr., who shockingly defeated Tiafimo Lopez via split decision and won the unified belts. And then Devin Haney went on to beat uh, George Cambosis twice to become undisputed officially. So with that said, uh, Tiafimo Lopez you know, he moved up. He had a lot of reasons and, and rhymes as to why he lost to George Cambosis Jr. Uh, he said it was his esophagus injury. Uh, it was his asthma. It was the weight cut at 35. He just couldn't make it no more. So he had to move up to uh, uh, junior welterweight, 140 pounds. Right. And so he had three fights. This is his third fight coming up. He's going into a massive showdown. Now, Devin Haney and Lomachenko, they're going to fight May 20th, Las Vegas, Nevada, MGM Grand Garden Arena. Tiafimo Lopez, June 10th, just a few weeks later, has a massive showdown with undefeated, undisputed, like uh, Julian Welterweight, uh, British superstar boxer Josh Taylor. OK, uh, and so. He knows that there's a strong possibility that Devin Haney may move up should he beat Vasil Lomachenko. Uh, that's the highlight win of Tiafimo Lopez's career. And so now, you know, uh, Tiafimo Lopez has been going back and forth for quite some time throughout their careers now. Tiafimo Lopez and his father, Sr., they stated that uh, Devin Haney's father, trainer, and manager, and CEO of DHP, Devin Haney Promotions, Bill Haney, had to jump in the ring and stop the action as they knocked Devin Haney out on his feet in the sparring session. It looked a lot like when Devin Haney got buzzed by Jorge Linares. Uh, and then, you know, Tiafimo Lopez is also stating that, you know, um, uh, Vasil Lomachenko is going to win the fight. He stated that Vasil Lomachenko, you can't fake defense. He said that Devin Haney has a fake defense. He's chinny. Uh, and he does have the stamina, but you have to be super aggressive with Vasil Lomachenko and the, the fake defense and the uh, technical approach that Devin Haney used is not going to work against Vasil Lomachenko. So he's picking Vasil Lomachenko to win this fight. Uh, again, this is the highlight of uh, Tiafimo Lopez's career beating Vasil High Tech Lomachenko. So obviously he wants that to stand. OK, uh, Tiafimo Lopez, again, he's going into a massive fight with Josh Taylor. Now, the thing about this all is, is that uh, Devin Haney has expressed that and he plans on possibly moving up to 140 in his very next fight. Should he not be able to uh, comfortably make 135? And if he can, he wants to fight Javante Tank Davis or Shakur Stevenson at 135. But if he can't comfortably make the weight anymore, then he is planning on to go into 140 immediately. Now, what's, uh, what's ironic about this is, is that Tiafimo Lopez is going to find himself in a position where he's going to have to honor that fight and fight Devin Haney, okay? Because Tiafimo Lopez, you know... um. Now, Tiafimo Lopez, he, he's going to fight Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor has been stripped of his uh, titles. 
Uh, he didn't lose his belts in the ring. He lost them due to inactivity and not defending them against his mandatories. So Josh Taylor still holds the WBO title. OK, which means if Tiafima Lopez beats Josh Taylor June 10th. OK, guess what? Devin Haney moves up. That's the exact belt that Devin Haney wants Tiafimo Lopez to hold is the WBO, the World Boxing Organization title. Why? Because they uphold their rules. OK, uh, if you move up with if you if you hold the WBO title and you move up as the WBO champion and move up to the next weight class, they automatically make you the mandatory challenger for the champion there. So that means Devin Haney will automatically make himself the mandatory challenger for Tiafimo Lopez at 140, and he will have to honor that, or he's going to have to vacate his belt. So that means Devin Haney is going to be able to corner the market and be able to fight Tiafimo Lopez. So he's going to have to back it up. Now, Tiafimo Lopez also is going to have to you know, uh, uh, stand by his word. If he feels like Vasil Lomachenko is still that guy and Devin Haney beats Vasil Lomachenko, well then guess what? He's going to have to give Devin Haney his credit for beating Vasil Lomachenko. He can't tell the world how old Lomachenko is and Lomachenko is too small and just can't, uh, just didn't have it n anymore. He slipped. He's not the same guy. Now, it's an uphill battle for Tiafimo Lopez to even beat Josh Taylor. I think that Tiafimo Lopez lost his last fight against Sandor Martin. Uh, he didn't look that great in the fight before the Sandor Martin, his first fight at uh, junior welterweight. Okay, he didn't look that good against uh, uh, a camper, Pedro Camper. He got a seventh round knockout victory, but he didn't look that good. He didn't look that explosive. Uh, Sando Martin, he was unofficially dropped twice in the fight. One knockdown they didn't call and score. Uh, and the other one was a, the a identical knockdowns. It was identical knockdowns, okay? And uh, he won a split decision over Sandor Martin. And Sandor Martin is a, a smaller, not as good. He's five foot seven with a, a 68 inch armies. He's a southpaw out of Spain. He's slick. Uh, Josh Taylor is five foot ten, okay? Five foot ten. He has a 70, uh, 71 inch arm each. Uh, he's a southpaw and he's slick and, and uh, uh, slippery as well. So he's a bigger, better version of Sandor Martin. And I'm, I'm almost certain that Josh Taylor paid very close attention to uh, Tiafimo Lopez suffering those knockdowns against uh, Josh Taylor in that fight. OK, I mean, against Sandor Martin, he paid very, very close attention. He understands exactly, you know, uh, uh, what it took you know, to drop Tiafimo Lopez, and he's a better fighter. He's a better version, okay? So uh, it's going to be an uphill battle for Tiafimo Lopez to beat Josh Taylor. But if he does, well, Devin Haney is going to have a mega fight at 140 against Tiafimo Lopez on the horizon, 1,000%. He's going to have a mega fight against Tiafimo Lopez on the horizon. And Tiafimo Lopez, at that point in time, is going to have to honor it, okay? He's going to have to honor it. So we got to see how that unfolds. But as far as Tiafimo Lopez... Picking Vasil Lomachenko. Now, what he says about Vasil Lomachenko is 1,000% correct. I do agree with Tiafimo Lopez that Vasil Lomachenko is a very, very good fighter and that you have to be aggressive with Vasil Lomachenko. You cannot uh, sit on the back foot. But if there's anybody that can sit on the back foot and compete and beat Vasil Lomachenko, it's Devin Haney because of his length, his ring IQ, his ability to box, his ability to make adjustments, uh, his quick hands and quick feet. Uh, is, you know, so he's the perfect fighter. He has the best jab in boxing. So when you factor all of those things in, you know, Devin Haney is the one that could beat Vasil Lomachenko fighting on the back foot. Vasil Lomachenko, when you back him up, when you aggressive with Vasil Lomachenko and you back him up and you put him on the back foot, he will be defensive, but he's not very active. So he'll make you miss, but he won't make you pay. And ultimately, he he's ending up losing rounds as he lost the first seven rounds to Tiafimo Lopez, in my opinion. OK, so but I think that Devin Haney will be backing up Vasil Lomachenko in this fight. He will be using his jab to uh, back up Lomachenko and engage the, the distance and the timing of Vasil Lomachenko. And I think his right hand is going to be a major factor. And when they are on the inside, I think that uh, once they are on the inside, Devin Haney's strength, uh, his cleverness on the inside is going to be better than Vasil Lomachenko expects and the world expects. And I think that that's going to be an X factor. I don't think that Lomachenko has any wins in any area of this fight. And so I think that Devin Haney is going to outclass and dominate Vasily Hitek Lomachenko. And I think that, you know, um, um, Devin Haney's not going to get nowhere near the credit he deserves 
and he's not going definitely not going to get it from Tiafimo Lopez. So uh, this is going to be a very very interesting fight. I understand why Tiafimo Lopez is picking Vasil Lomachenko because that's his golden victory, and he don't like Devin Haney. So it's completely understandable. But let's see how it unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. May twentieth. Las Vegas, Nevada, MGM Grand Garden Arena, Devin Haney, Lomachenko. We're going to see. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you're liking shady videos. That's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy, Blue. Does Vasil Lomachenko beat uh, Devin Haney like Tiafimo Lopez says? Does Tiafimo Lopez have a great point? Will Tiafimo Lopez beat Josh Taylor? Drop a comment. Let me know. Peace. Stacey Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV.